Yeah, Jerry Courtney has actually been on the phone all day with different organizations, community leaders, and parents about what they can do to help accommodate those parents that can't work from home and aren't able to stay at home to help their kids learn. The reality is there's not enough child care, there's not enough school age care uh, uh, to take care of the kids that are needed. During the summer, the YMCA provides all day school age programs, but during the school year, that program typically goes away. Now, Courtney is finding a way to accommodate parents who can't work remotely or help their kids with virtual learning. Traditional ways just won't work. So we've got to figure out public private partnerships. In our case, at the Y, all of our programs that we traditionally run in our buildings are already full for the rest of the fall. He says finding space is key. Right now, daycares can only operate at a 30% capacity due to the state's health guidelines. We're going to have to have, you know, people starting to reach out to the school systems, to places like us, saying, I've got an office space that we can convert. I've got empty space during the week at the churches I could use. You could use. Uh, it's it's going to take all of that. And starting tomorrow, those discussions will begin with Madison County Schools. The district is holding a virtual meeting with its community partners to discuss options for child care. Solve this problem of child care by us all working together. And we've got to get beyond talk. We've got to get people in a room and say, let's start looking at space in our area where we know there's a need. How can we leverage all of our relationships to open up that, that space? To work with the nonprofit community or the for profit providers to come in and, and provide the programs. Now, the Madison County Chamber of Commerce did announce a grant today for daycares. Courtney told me that the YMCA has applied. He believes that this is an incentive for those daycares that are going through financial struggles to be able to reopen. Reporting live in Huntsville, Megan Braina, Way 31 News.